Hello, hello, Julie Barkas here, workplace transformationalist, been transforming leaders and their teams for over 20 years. And I'm excited to bring you this message today about appointments with yourself. And this is something that I'm going through right now as we're speaking. I have a massage appointment scheduled in 30 minutes. And all this morning I was thinking about canceling that appointment. I need to cancel it. I need to cancel it. I need to cancel it because there's a lot going on. And you might be feeling that way too, that you need to cancel that appointment that you made for yourself months ago because there's so much happening. And and that's the place where I'm at right now. My boyfriend's mom just passed away. And then on top of that, my cat gets sick and she might need emergency surgery. And I'm supposed to be going to Florida to speak at an event next week. And it's just like, I'm really feeling like I'm being tested. So the first thing that pops to my mind is, I need to cancel this massage. I I can't go. I've got to pull pictures together. I've got to get on the phone with the vet. I've got to do this and this and this and this. So it really seems to be the easiest place to put myself last so that everything else can come in and fill the cup. Have you ever been in that position? Do you know what I'm saying? And when I was thinking about canceling on myself, canceling my massage, I was thinking about, well, wait a second. If you don't go and just take this 90 minutes to refuel, how good are you going to be for everything else that you have to do in your life or everything else that's going to be transpiring? So I made the decision in about 10 minutes, I'm leaving for my massage. I'm going to go and I'm going to follow through. But it's typically one of the easiest places to come back and look at your calendar and go, what can I cancel? Um, Okay, nails, don't need to do that. Don't need to do this. Don't need to do that. And they end up being all things for yourself. So today I want you to think about your calendar. I want you to look at that calendar and ask yourself, do I have enough things scheduled for me to help me take care of me? Because if your cup gets empty, this is what I see happens. When our cup gets empty, being in a leadership role, we start looking to other people, to other places. And a lot of times it's dysfunctional, but we start looking for other people and other things to fill our cup for us. It might be eating unhealthy. It might be skipping your workout. All right. So it might be, oh, now I'm going to go hit the sugar because I'm not doing that thing for me. So I might as well eat this food that's not going to serve your vision either for yourself or for the life that you want to live. So I really want you to be thinking about if you are not taking care of yourself proactively, what are you doing reactively that's destructive? And a lot of times in the workplace for leaders, it comes down to looking for validation from the people who are around us. And then we almost get into this victim mindset where it's like, wait a second, you guys know I didn't even take a lunch break. And now you're on me about this and this and this and this and this and have some sympathy. But instead, the model, the stage that we want to set is that self-care is important. Self-care is good. And self-care, those appointments I make with myself for myself, are those things that are going to propel me forward into where I really want to be, the kind of leader I want to be, the model I want to set. Because your team will be happy if we show them that it's okay to take care of ourselves. And we're living that philosophy. But it does no good if we just speak the words, which is why I challenged myself, because I know what I preach. I know the message I bring from the stage and to the leaders that I work with. It is a big part of self-care. And I'm like, no, you have to go to this massage and you have to take care of yourself. So my challenge for you today is look at your calendar. What can you schedule for you? How can you show up for you in a bigger way? I'm Julie Barkas. And I'll see you on the other side of my massage.